What's up, guys? Uh, today we're going to go over how to add the DHCP option 43 on your FortiGate firewall so that Unify devices will automatically reach out to your cloud controller and you'll be able to manage them. So you don't typically need to do this if you have a Ubiquiti Unify um, firewall or router on site. That'll usually act as kind of like a a proxy, so to speak, with the controller. However, if you don't have a, a gateway, um, there's only a couple ways that you can really get your devices to be adopted in the cloud controller. One of them being the set inform command, but then you have to log into each one and set that, uh, go ahead and enter that command. Um, and then the other one is a DHCP option 43, where if you have the DHCP option set on the network that you connect your switch to, it'll automatically reach out to your Unify cloud controller and you'll be able to adopt it and manage it. Super easy. Um, I found it to be the most efficient way to get these Unify devices online in my controller. So we're just gonna go over that today. Um, as long, once you log into your Unify controller and I'm using uh, Ubiquiti's official cloud hosting service, but this also works for Hostify as well. So you'll basically follow the same prompts. Um, that we're doing here, you'll just do it in Hostify and it'll work for you. So the site that I'm going to connect the, uh, and, and also have, this is my USW Flex. These actually by themselves, you cannot log into and do the set inform command. So they're really hard to manage without the, the third party gate, the Unify gateway. Um, and so the DHCP option is really the only way that I'm aware of to get them into the cloud controller and be managed um, if you don't have a gateway on site. So uh, we're gonna do it on one of these guys. So hopefully y'all will find that helpful. Um, but the first thing that we need to get once we log into our Ubiquiti uh, portal here is we need to get the IP address of our controller. So I'm not going to use mine in the, in the task that we do, but that's where yours should be. Um, and then from here, I'm going to post this, uh, put this URL in the description. Uh, I just use this quick website. Basically, it allows you to convert that uh, IP address to hexadecimal uh, format for your DHCP option. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it 199.199. Right. And then I'm going to click, give me my option 43. And so it's a little bit misleading here um, because it tells you kind of to put this in. Uh, but the thing that we really want is this guy right here, right? This is what we want to copy. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. Okay. And then after we have that, we're going to go over to our FortiGate firewall. Once we go to our FortiGate firewall, we're going to select the network that we want to basically set that DHCP option on, right? Whatever network, when you go to plug your switch in, the one that's going to give the switch an IP address, that's the one that we want to set the DHCP option on. In my case, it's going to be VLAN 200, uh, the homeland. So we're going to go ahead and click that guy, scroll down. Want to get to the DHCP server section. And then from here, we're going to click the advanced. And then for additional DHCP options right here, we're going to click create new. Option code is going to be 43. We're going to leave the value type at hexadecimal. And then before we paste our, uh, our hexadecimal text that we got from the website in here, uh, you're going to need to put in 0104. That also has, that has to be in front of it. So we're going to go ahead and put that in and then we're going to paste our, our other hex, uh, text right there. And then I'm going to click. Okay. Should pop up here at this point. And I've made this mistake plenty of times on FortiGates. Uh, this is, did not save. You have to make sure that you click OK here at the bottom in order for it to save. Right. So at this point, um, all you need, should really need to do is plug in your switch and then it should come online in your controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flex and I'm going to go plug it into my network over here. And then we'll take a look at the cloud console to make sure that it comes up. All right, so that guy's plugged in. All right, so as you can see, within about, I guess that was about a minute and a half, 
um, the flex me popped up into my controller. So I'm going to go ahead and click to adopt. All right. looks like our flex is getting ready. And, you know, we didn't do any set and form commands. It was strictly just that DHCP option. And typically you can see it's online now. It should be ready to go to, to, to make those changes. Um, you set your VLANs on your ports and whatnot. I love these things. You can throw them in anywhere and uh, it's easy to kind of separate stuff out into VLANs with them. Um, but that's it really. Uh, just wanted to put together a quick video showing you how to do that. Hope it was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.